Hamada, Hamada, Hamada. What are you, Ralph Crampton? That's that's well, that was a Crampton reference. Yeah. No, Joe Biden. You know, what he said <laughs> this week? you know what Joe Biden said this week? No. Which no other candidate has said. What's that? He what? called Trump an he called Trump an existential threat. Yes. To our country, he he literally said that. He said. He said Donald Trump is an existential threat to America. And, well, and, you know, your guy, Bernie or Elizabeth Warren, what do they talk about? Student loan debt, climate change, health care. But Joe Biden, he goes after the really big stuff, existential threats. <laughs> it's true. Uh, he's going after. What's, Bernie, what's Bernie's plan? You're, what's Bernie's plan on existential threats? Well, I think his plan is probably just to win the presidency. That's, I think, what everybody's plan is. Bernie's plan is is to defeat existential threats by just winning the presidency. Well, well that's actually, what, isn't uh, that what Joe Biden's plan is? Like that's that the well, way our, you get our, rid of. He said, he said Donald Trump is an existential threat. Right now, he's just a blip. But if he stays on for four more years, he'll be an existential yeah, threat. Yeah, well, actually, Bernie drew uh, some pretty powerful historical parallels in his speech the other day. And I think he wants to not only get rid of the threat of Trump, but of the conditions that lead to Trump and Trump-like things, David. Or uh, Feldman. Oof. Like what? <laughs> Like what? What's more important than an existential threat? You tell me. I see it's an existential threat level orange. That's how bad it is right now. Did Can you, you tell wait, me wait, what, did what? you did you work on that system with Rob Reiner? Great man. <laughs> Great man, Rob Reiner. When Harry met Sally, I, I watched that movie and I go, I wanna know who directed when Harry met Sally and whoever directed that movie. He's going to tell me who to vote for. I thought you were going to say you watched that movie and you wanted to know what she was having. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Those are, yeah. Cats is delicatessen. Right. Don't, don't think I don't get. Don't think I don't get the anti-Semitic subtext to that joke. <laughs> Where Meg Ryan fakes an orgasm at Katz's Delicatessen, and I'm supposed to just—I'm supposed to roll with that, right? Okay. Right. In other so words, what is, what is in that? other words, that if you're like if if someone is um, having an experience with a Jew, that they could only have a fake orgasm. I. Uh... I, I, I want to talk politics. I don't, okay, I don't okay, want to talk okay, okay. religion I, no, I understand. with you. I, I, no, I understand. I, I, I understand. I understand. I, um, so, David, uh, Joe Biden has, has named an existential threat. His solution is to win the presidency. And mm -hmm. you are waiting for any other candidate 